Ahoy there, Captain Goujon here, and welcome to the Nicolas Cage Dating Simulator. I'm pretty sure this game is everything I've ever hoped for, as I am a bit of an avid fan of Nicolas Cage. I've seen all of his movies, but to be honest, once you, if you've seen one of them, you've sort of seen them all. Guy, good at heart, but in bad situation, solves problem, bangs wife. Generally the, the premise of the movie, it's always pretty solid, but I've always dreamed of me being that wife getting banged at the end of the movie. So that's why we're here. We're looking to, fa to snag ourselves a pretty sweet bag of Nicky C. So we're going to do it. Oh, what's my name, you dirty sinner? I'm going to go something really meta. Save it! Uh, I'm not sure what. You are right. You're sitting in your history class. Your teacher... Mr. Mimi is droning on about a lesson on George Lopez. Right. Or something. You particularly don't care about this class. You yawn and stare out of the window for a moment. Ah. Cyrus. Should I do a voice? I can't remember what Cyrus' voice is like from Con Air. If you don't get the reference, Cyrus the Virus was the main bad guy from Con Air. Going in deep. Such a nice day. Suddenly. Oh god, the script writing is... Ah, just beautiful. And the memes... They begin already. Pepe up there, looking sad. Unknown! Cyrus! Oh, it's John Nicholas Keener. Nicholas Cage runs over to you, his 17-pack glistening in the sunlight. Right. Nicholas Cage. Cyrus, we have to do... Oh, so soon? Wow, that's... A... What? Yeah, yeah, let's do it right now. Uh, yell hair. Right. Excellent. He grasps your arm and places you on his shoulders. We're off to steal the Declaration of Independence. Fuck yeah, we are. Some great sound effects happening right now. Nicholas Cage neighs like a horse before jumping out of the fourth story window. Gah! Nicholas Cage lands gracefully and takes off into the wood. <laughs> right. He runs towards the west. Wait. Isn't the Declaration of Independence the other way? That's what they want you to think. Wait. Uh, I want to go home. Nicholas Cage comes to a sudden stop. What did you say? I love the excellent upside down mouth <laughs> photoshop. I, I said I want to go home, you fucking psycho. Nicholas throws you off his back. Oof. Nicholas gets very close to your face. He whispers. Ah, <laughs> oh, good. Nicholas Cage takes off on the same path. God damn it. You get up and look around. Well, fuck me sideways, I'm lost. Suddenly, you hear a buzzing noise. It's getting closer and closer. Suddenly, thousands of bees are upon you. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Not the bees. Ah. Oh, they're in my eyes! My eyes! Uh, okay, we... we <laughs> Nicholas Cage looms over you. Weenie. <laughs> Came over. Oh, good. Oh, wonderful. That's... <laughs> I'm going to compose myself for a moment. We're going we're gonna to continue on the same line. We'll just pick up from where I answered that last question. Okay. We'll ask, who's they? The ultimate meme masters. What? Nicholas Cage speeds up. Gotta go. <laughs> I'm not sure. Okay. Gotta go fast. Cage. Gotta go steal a declaration of independence. Okay. <laughs> I'm not really sure where this is going. Cage. You sing this in your eyes. <laughs> While imagining Nicolas Cage as Ripley 17 pack, you eventually lull yourself to sleep on Nicolas Cage's back. You wake up a couple of hours later in a dank cave. N Nick? You sit up. God damn it. Why must we have perfect abs? Wait, what? What should I do? Find Nicolas Cage. You stand up. Nick? Nick! Nicolas Cage enters through the mouth of the cave. I'm not really sure what that is. He's carrying a bunch of... Okay. <laughs> right. He's carrying a bunch of logs. I thought it was some kind of cancerous abscess that had exploded finally due to his 
malformed seventeen pack. Don't fear, for I bring firewood. It's daylight still. No, we need this. Nicholas Cage drops a log next to you. Just trust me on this. Uh, okay. Nicholas Cage flexes his abs. We have to flee. What? Nicholas Cage picks you up and places you on his. Why? Do I not have any legs? Am I uh, some form of cripple? Is that okay to say that? I'm going to assume that it's not, but I'm going to run with it. Nicholas Cage picks you up and places you on his back. Nicholas Cage starts running deeper into the cave. Where are we going? To find the temple. <laughs> what temple? The temple where they keep the Declaration of Independence. What the fuck? Exactly. Nicholas Cage runs deeper and deeper into the cave. His speed is picking up. He's moving at the speed of sound. Noom. <laughs> you tighten your grip around his chest and allow yourself to be rocked to sleep by his running motions. Nice. Movements. Uh, whatever, you're, you're asleep now. <laughs> Some really fantastic script writing going on. Suddenly. Halt. Gah. You fall off Nicolas Cage. Oof. Your vision is blurry and you can't see jack shit. Official term there. Opticians use that. Why have you returned? I thought you were dead. Ha! You really think I let myself get killed by a garbage truck? What? Am I missing? I'm, anyway. Ha! Well, I hid in a soup can. Rode it all the way to the city dump. And it was stinky. Why have you returned, you dumb fuck? To take back what you've stolen from me. Unknown. It never belonged to you. You get up and see a giant ugly-ass frog sitting on the throne. A man with a sick-ass beard is next to him. <laughs> oh, fuck. Jesus Christ. So, I mean, this is this video is outdated and I'm making it today. So, we're doing well. A small and terrified frog is there too. For, for some reason. <laughs> and he's on a unicycle. It's that boy. Oh, Christ. Oh, shit, what up? Leave now. Pepe, you know what? Fuck you. The giant ugly ass frog stares at Nicolas Cage in shock. How dare you? How dare I? First of all, ooh. I'm gonna let him. I'm gonna let this continue. You stand back and let Nick continue yelling. You bitch ass hoe. And not to mention, you are the lowest of all of the totem pole, Pepe. The lowest. Do you realize that? Every other memer has been here longer than you, Pepe. Everyone. And even if they were someone here who was here even one day longer than you, I still wouldn't let them let you top me. The writing is fantastic. That's right, you fucking disgusting waste of meme. Get out of here. Pepe disappears into nothingness. Yeah, that's right. Get out of here. W what? How could you? The man with the sick ass beard runs right up to Nick. You ho, don't do it. <laughs> Fuck off. Oh, Shire, fuck you. Shire punches Nick in the face. Fuck you? Nick is a weak-ass hoe and doesn't get up. <laughs> what? <laughs> For fuck's sake. Shire disappears into the nothingness. That boy is staring intently into your eyes as Nick is dying on the floor. From a punch, of course. But that boy is staring so lustfully at you. Oh. Kind of, Nick's a bit of a pussy, so we're gonna go with Dat Boy. I'm sorry, Nick. You stand up and walk over to Dat Boy. Nick groans but doesn't move. Except I'm not! Ha ha! You take Dat Boy's hand. He blushes as he bounces on his unicycle. You two exit the temple and start your new life together. Good ending. Awesome. We're gonna stick with Nick this time, you know, because we are here to date Nick and hopefully get a nice load. Gross. You break your gaze from that boy and run over to Nicolas Cage. Nick! You shake him vigorously. Like a vinegar bottle. <laughs> like a vinegar bottle. That boy disappears. He's sad that you didn't choose him. Nicolas Cage begins coughing. Cyrus! I've realised I've typed it. <laughs> I've actually typed it in like that. He's not intentionally saying it like sort of someone out of the Warriors. I'm here, Nick. You look down at him and smile. I'm here. Nicholas Cage gently caresses your cheek. Your face cheek. You nasty pervert. 
Say, Ray. <laughs> you guess? I think I found it. Found what? The Declaration of Independence. It's not here. What? I think you're Nicolas Cage. Because my heart was the Declaration of Independence. And you've stolen it. Oh, we've, all, we've all been waiting for this moment. I just want you all to wait and visualise this the wind blowing. That scene from Connor where he steps off the aeroplane. His thin but luscious locks blowing in the wind. As if he's just caught a whiff of his own fart look on his face. And we kiss him. N Nick? You lean down and kiss him gently. Cyrus, say! Nick sits up and holds you by the shoulders. Cy Cyrus! Yes, Nick? Stay with me. Yeah? Not come this far. Nicholas Cage smiles and kisses you again. I love you. <laughs> it's just... <sighs> it's everything I've dreamed of and more. Hold it together. I can't believe you got this. <laughs> Congrats, you finished the game. I'm really intrigued to see what happens if we hold off on the finger blasting, dick licking scenario and we go with a good manly back of the hand to his beautiful bristled face. Gah! No! You're like old enough to be my dad. <laughs> yikes. You run out of the temple. High key yikes. Right. Okay. <laughs> well, I think we've ventured down that path far enough. You know, it's not what I expected. But that's what I like about Nicolas Cage movies, is that you sort of expect it to be good because he's a high-ranking actor. But actually, it's it's just hot dog shit that's been popped back in the microwave. So this has been Nicolas Cage Dating Simulator. Just a short one today. This is a request by a subscriber, so thank you for that. I'm always looking for new inspiration and ideas. So if you've got any obscure games or anything, really, that you want me to have a go at that you think might be quite entertaining, pop it in the comments below, and I'll see what I can do for you. So if you like this shit, like this shit. Share, subscribe, do what you gotta do. And until next time, Captain Goujon, out.